Sigma has added three new focal lengths to their FF High Speed Prime line. Hi, I'm cinematographer Mark Raker, and b and has asked me to shoot with the new Sigma FF High Speed Prime focal lengths and give you my impressions. We used Sigma's new lenses with Canon's C700 FF camera shooting 5.9K and Sony's A7S II shooting 4K. This allowed us to take advantage of the lens's 43.3mm image diameter. The inclusion of 28mm, 40mm, and 105mm lenses gives cinematographers tremendous versatility with a 10 lens lineup, which now ranges from 14 to 135mm, and offers a lens speed of T1.5 or T2 in the case of the 14 and 135. With a complete set of 10 lenses designed for 8K shooting, the FF High Speed Prime lines allow selection of focal length without compromise to camera position. When setting up a shot, you don't have to settle for close enough because you don't have a lens which would give you the desired frame. Working on set with these lenses is fast and easy thanks to consistent 95mm front diameter, industry standard 0.8 module gearing on focus and iris rings, focus scales with 180 degree barrel rotation marked on both sides, and a rotational angle of the iris ring for each lens which is 60 degrees and has the same rotational angle per t-stop. This makes such a difference when swapping lenses as they will always line up with the accessories. Markings on the barrel clearly state the focal length, maximum aperture, front diameter, filter diameter, and image diameter. This is incredibly helpful and I only wish they had marked the minimum object distance as well, although it's easy enough to figure out by looking at the focus ring. We photographed four separate lighting situations. A high contrast, high saturation setup with our model on a sofa, a low contrast, low saturation setup with our model in a bathtub, a medium contrast, continuous tone situation against a gray wall, and a tabletop with many uncontrolled highlights. During our shoot, we photographed our scenes as much as possible wide open at a T1.5. This is not necessarily a desirable situation, but it does show the capability of the lens. The bokeh in the background was smooth and spherical until you got very much off axis to the corners where it became slightly elliptical. But altogether produced a very pleasing image with no hot centers or hot edges on the out of focus lights. These lenses occupy a rare middle ground and that although they represent a significant investment, they're still an eighth of the price of the top of the market lenses but certainly not one-eighth the quality. I was pleasantly surprised with the image quality and the construction of these lenses, and the fact that there's now 10 focal lengths means you could shoot an entire feature with these without having to go off-brand to fill in the holes or to get to the extreme ends. I would also be happy to use these on commercials, music videos, or anything that desired a more cinematic look. Their all-metal construction means that your money is going to hold up as an investment. You can buy cheaper lenses, but the cheaper lenses aren't going to last. This is Mark Raker for B&H, looking at the Sigma FF High Speed Prime line. Thank you for watching.